hi so my previous video was on a GIF which I created using Google Slides or PowerPoint this video will tell you all exactly how to do it step by step and then you can use it for your virtual classroom so here it is Hello, so this is what I had created uh, last time and as promised, I'm going to show you all step by step how did I make it. So let's get started. Oh yes, there are two things which would be required. One is your Google Slides which you would get on your email over here. You go on this Google Apps tab, then you scroll down, and here you get a slides. You can start a new blank presentation. Let's quickly give it some name. Okay, so once you have your Google Slides, the next important thing that you need to take care of is your add-ons. This tab over here for add-ons, you need to click there and you need to click on Get Add-ons. Once you get this G Suite Marketplace, you need to type in the search tab over here, Creator Studio. Yeah, here it is. And this is what it looks like, where it allows you to save your slides as GIF images or even video files. So I'm going to click on it and then install it then you click on continue it will ask for an email ID so you need to sign in through your Google account this is my Google account which I'm going to use to sign in and yet again you click allow Here it is, our Creator Studio has been installed. Great. So, if you now check your add-ons. Oh yes, it's here. The Creator Studio. Okay, now I've made a copy of my... GIF that I created earlier and I'm going to show you how I did it from the scratch. So on the first slide I had a nice staircase background and I inserted a running Bitmoji through this Bitmoji extension which was downloaded from the Chrome web store. So if you type run you would get a lot of bitmojis that show a running activity. Suppose I take this here right now. I delete the one with the pink dress and I put it over here. But this is the wrong side. I need to change the side. So first I get it this side then I right click and then when you right click you get various options like this you need to go to rotate and from rotate you need to go to flip horizontally this is what will 
help you to change the direction. I'm just going to change the size a bit and the position too. Now what you could do is create copies of the same slide. I think three or four copies would suffice. So I duplicate site. Okay, so I've done three. Now I, I want the position for the, this was my first one and this is the second one. So I want the position for the second one to change a bit. So running, running, she's come in the middle here. Perfect. After that, let's now change the Bitmoji a bit. Again, let's go to the Bitmoji extension. And click on running. I think this one looks good. So be careful of your position. And the size as well. So in the second slide she was here. In the third slide, let me just keep her somewhere here. She's trying to just go up. Perfect. Then I think I will just get rid of these two and come to a new background. Oh yes, now let's have her in the corridor. So climbing the staircase, she's now coming to the corridor. Click on the Bitmoji extension. And let me type running. Oh yes, I could take this one like she's maybe tired. Be careful of your position. I just want her to enter from this way. So I'm just going to right click, rotate and flip horizontally. So yes, she's finally managed. And from here, just like to, just a moment, let me duplicate the slides. You could do it like four to five more times. Yes, so she was here. Now in this one, let's have her jumping. Type here jumping. I love the one with the sheep, so I'm going to take that. But again, when you place the bit more please be careful of your position. The previous one, she was here, so in the next one, let's keep her somewhere here. could use the same one for the next slide and just take her to the nearer to the classroom assuming this is her door then let's have her enter in the classroom now so I copy this and I would paste it here oh yes so now she's at the end of the classroom all flying I would love to duplicate this so that I could show her flying more. The second flying, a little bit like this. A bit more here. Next slide. Again, duplicate. A bit more. And then finally, for the last slide, what I could do is, I could just have her happy least standing over here. Good. 
great. So you see, I've created 11 slides and there's not much that you need to do. You just need to duplicate the background and just change the position of your Bitmojis very minutely. Now, before we create a GIF image, I'm just going to change the name. Let's say hello people and it will be saved in my drive. Yes, now the main part is going to the add-ons. I click over here. I go to create a studio. I click on create GIF. Once I do that, there shall be something like this popping up. So it has various things that you need to see. It has output in pixels. I would prefer 1600. If you need it slow, then you may have interval of 2 seconds. I need it a bit fast, so I would have the interval of 0.5 seconds. And you could also choose the format in which you want it to get saved. I would require the animated GIF image. And then you could click on go. It does take a while, but it's definitely worth waiting. Okay, so mm -hmm. Our animated GIF is created and the best part is you can either click on this download file to your computer button and get it downloaded or the creator studio creates a folder in your drive and you can see your GIF there. Like in my drive, I have Creator Studio, and here it's Hello People Chef Creator. Yeah. Let's open it and check. Oh wow, so yes, the output is exactly what I was expecting. Now you can also uh, use the downloaded image in your downloads. Or you can use the one in the drive. I would always prefer it to be on the drive because I like to work on Google Slides. And yes, you can tweak this the way you want. You can change the background. You can change the Bitmoji avatars the way you want. And this animation would definitely bring a smile on the face of your learners when they meet you virtually. And the smiles on their faces is definitely going to make us happy too. So I really hope I was helpful. And if you have any queries, please get back to me. Thank you so much.